Are you dreaming of an Asian island escape, but maybe you can't decide where to go? Bali, Phuket, or Fuwalk? Each has its allure and are incredible places to see, but which one is right for you? Hello everyone, I am Matt, nice to meet you, and if you've seen my videos before, well then, welcome back. Today we will be comparing these three Southeast Asian islands, from the vibrant beaches of Phuket to the diverse landscapes of Bali, and the serene balance of Fu Walk. We're covering it all, so pack your bags and let's dive right in. So let's start off with Bali because, well, Bali is always a great place to start. Bali isn't just a destination, it's a mood, a tropical state of mind. It really permeates throughout the entire island and is embodied perfectly in its people. Here the geographical diversity is unmatched from waterfalls, beaches, you can even hike into active volcanoes or maybe around active volcanoes is a better way to describe it. Maybe don't go directly. No shit. In the mornings you can surf the energetic waves and by afternoon be enjoying yourself in one of the local bars. Another major pull of Bali is its cultural depth. The island's rich traditions are visible in its daily offerings, temples, ceremonies, and vibrant dance performances. Bali is also known for its wellness retreats, offering world-class yoga studios, holistic healing and luxury spa treatments amidst serene settings. For the more adventurous types, of which, note to self, I should probably be a little bit more adventurous, offers a range of activities from jungle trekking to diving in beautiful coral reefs. On top of all that, an extra little feather in Bali's cap is that the rain seems to suit it. And considering that Southeast Asia is divided between a rainy and dry season, depending on the time of year you're heading to Asia, it may be your best bet. There are a million reasons to go to Bali, but let's jump over to some of the cons and some reasons you may not want to go. Bali's popularity can be a bit of a double-edged sword, leading to crowded tourist destinations and commercialization in many places. It isn't the spiritual hidden island getaway that it used to be. The secret is definitely out. With the popularity, the infrastructure struggles under peak tourist periods and environmental concerns has risen with the increase of tourism, impacting a lot of what made Bali special, its natural beauty. But despite the cons, Bali definitely holds a special place in my memories and even thinking about it makes me longing to go back. But Southeast Asia has a lot to offer, so let's move over to our next destination, which is Phuket. Phuket, Thailand is the go-to for beach lovers. The island boasts some of the most beautiful beaches in all of Thailand with soft sands and excellent crystal clear waters. A nightlife in Phuket is also a major draw, offering vibrant night markets, bustling bars, and lively shows. Where I currently am in my life with a three-year-old, that's not necessarily my scene at the moment, but Phuket does definitely bring uh, back some memories and makes me miss the days. Phuket also serves as a great base for island hopping. Nearby islands like uh, PP Island and I know it's gonna make me laugh every time I say it <laughs> and the James Bond Island are extremely gorgeous and are absolutely worth seeing if you are going to Phuket. The island also offers numerous luxury resorts and spas providing top-notch accommodation and relaxing options. Now for some of the cons of Phuket. Phuket's commercial success means some areas are overly tourist which might distract from some of the authentic Thai experience. Also during the monsoon season, the sea can get pretty rough, which might limit some of the water sports activities. Spoiler warning, that is also a problem with Fuwalk, but for that one, I do have a solution. More on that at the end. Now prices in Phuket can be higher than other parts of Thailand, especially in tourist heavy areas, which might affect you if you're trying to be budget friendly on your trip. But if you are looking for a relaxing beach getaway, Phuket is hard to beat. So I guess you kind of get what you pay for. Now let's move on to Fu Walk. Fu Walk is definitely the new contender of the bunch, and I would say in some ways it splits the difference between Bali and Phuket, offering beautiful beaches that are less crowded than Phuket, and more infrastructure and development than Bali, at least in some of its more remote locations. It does also have its own unique feel as well. I would say for kids and families, 
families, it may be the best of the bunch considering it has kind of like a Disney theme park as well as an awesome water park. So uh, those are definitely pluses if you do have a family and some young kids. Another plus of Foo Walk is it's making strides in sustainable tourism, which could appeal to you if maybe you're eco-conscious. The island is a cultural blend of Vietnamese and Cambodian influences, which does offer a unique cultural experience and definitely a culinary boost as well. One extra little tidbit about Foo Walk is it is home to the world's longest overseas cable car, providing some pretty breathtaking views and is a unique experience. A bit terrifying, but I think it's worth it. Now, some of the cons of Foo Walk is that being a developing tourist destination, some parts of Foo Walk are still under construction, which can kind of impact the island's natural beauty for sure. It also has limited international connectivity compared to Bali and Phuket, which could add travel time and some complexity. So basically you would have to fly into one of the major cities in Vietnam, such as Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City, and then make your way there. But of course, I would always recommend taking some time to explore other locations of Vietnam because the country is beautiful and has a lot to offer. Now, like I said, the weather can also be a bit of an issue, just like Phuket. But again, more on that in a second. Really, no matter which you choose out of these locations, I believe a unique experience awaits and you really cannot go wrong. But you know another way that you cannot go wrong is checking out one of these videos here. Uh, this one right here is about Fu Walk and what to do when it is raining. And this one right here is from Bali and it shows some of the most incredible beach destinations that Bali has to offer. Until next time, peace.